Yeah, so someone's complaining about the government putting up age limits to fuck it to cap people and that. I mean, in this world, there's going to be advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. At the end of the day, we still live in the best time. Yeah. There's there's so much more opportunities now than there was before. Remember back in the day. Other than getting yourself a skill education, how else was you going to get like rich? Yeah, because you weren't really going to get rich with a skill education or whatever. Really. Yeah, you earn a decent wage and live a comfortable life. But to get rich, how, was you, how else did you get rich back in the day? Become a footballer or become a rapper. Nowadays, you don't need to do none of that stuff. Nowadays, you can turn on a fucking camera and start making content. Yeah, you can start Twitch streaming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can put endless of hours of effort into your craft. Yeah. Because remember, with the football thing and that, like, there, there are certain limitations and that, like, you know, you have to be good enough with blood. You can, you can make videos 24 hours a day if you so choose. Yeah. There's nothing stopping you. So, yeah, there, there are disadvantages and that, you know, they put making things harder and that. But blood, at the end of the day, this is the easiest world to live in right now. Yeah, it might be a little bit weird and that because people are identifying as tomatoes and fucking nonsense like that. But this is the best time to, to, to live right now. There's so much more opportunities. I was saying to my mum before, like, with Netflix and that and with YouTube and TikTok, there's no need for any great actors to, to, to be born anymore. Oh, Denzel Washington, Demi Moore, fucking, what's his name? Bruce Willis, all of them, Samuel Jackson, always shouting up the place and them things there. There's no need to have great actors like that anymore because we've got Netflix and that. So back in the day, there was only a few people that could have became the Denzel Washington or the Demi Moore or the Samuel Jackson or the Halle Berry and that. Now you can become your own movie star. Turn on the fucking camera and start talking, start speaking, start talking. Bring value to this earth, yeah? Bring value to people's lives and you will be paid. Might not be straight away, but eventually you will be paid. And bringing value to people's lives doesn't mean that you have to be dropping gems. It could just be music. Press one in the chat when you've heard one song. And you're like, damn, I don't give a fuck what the song is. Yeah? Everyone's got that one song minimum. Yeah? When they heard that song, they was listening to it for the whole fucking day. Back to back to back to back like a fucking maniac. Yeah? Back to back. That's bringing value. That's bringing joy to your life. And like, you know when you hear that beat, like, oh shit, like, oh, whatever it is, your favourite tune. I know when I first heard uh, Styles P, All I Know Is Pain, that is my number one favourite song of all time. Yeah, um, yeah I, it takes me back to when I first heard it. I remember like getting, I used to go check my, my bridge in Moose, big on my bridge in Moose in um, Stokey. I remember I used to jump on the train at Edmonton Green, ride it for about six stops, no ticket, yeah. <laughs> Might not pay for no ticket. Yeah. Uh, jump off at Rectory Road because I used to bring my bicycle on the train. Jump off at Rectory Road and then go ride to his estate in Shakespeare and Stone you. These times, man, was all 16 years old. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know who Moose Getman is, but I don't. I don't nah, my, my bridge of Moose is Nigerian, so that's not his last name. I don't know what his last name is, but he's, he's Nigerian. That, that ain't his last name. 